Hello, Hollydale Heroes, and welcome to the library, the 2020 way. I am Mrs. Collenberg, here with my famous sidekick, Mrs. Cagle. We are here to support you in whatever way we can, but this year things will look a little different. I know you've asked yourself, how can I check out library books this year? Well, this year, we are going to learn how to use Destiny to search for the books you want and place holds on books so we can check them out and they will be delivered to you. That means all of us are going to learn together. You've never put books on hold before and I've never checked them out to you that way. So here's how we think this is gonna work. Kindergarten and first graders, you'll still get to check out one library book or your kindergarten and first grade teachers can select books for your classroom. Grades two through five, that means everyone in second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, you can put two books on hold in Destiny. So let's get started. On your county issued iPads, you can click on the icon for Mac and Via. Or if you have a laptop or your own personal device, you type in www.cob.macandvia.com. You will have to select our school from the drop down menu. Remember to select the Hollydale Elementary School that's in Marietta, not the one that's located in Oregon. Then enter your username, which is your Office 365 username. That's the one that looks like an email address and your password, which is your lunch number. This takes you to our Cobb Digital Library where you will find all of your other favorite resources like eBooks, book flicks, tumble books, brain pop, pebble go, and so many other great resources. Today though, we are going to focus on using Destiny so you can check out library books right from your device. Click on groups, select your grade level, and click open now. At the top right, you will see where it says log in. So you're going to click so you can log in and create your own personal Destiny account. So click on log in and then click on the blue bar that says Cobb County Schools log in. So you don't have to enter a username and password. Click on the blue bar and then Check for your name at the top right. You can see that it has my first name, which is Gerilyn. So this is my Destiny account. Click on your name to view your Destiny account. Now the first thing I want you to do for me is look and see if you have any books checked out. So click on Checkout. I know it's been a long time since you've been at Hollydale, and most of us took library homes with books home with us to read. And that's great. But if you have books checked out, it's time to bring them back. So before you can put any books on hold, you'll need to return those checked out library books. I know, I know it's been a long time. So you might have to look really hard. Look under your bed or on your bookshelf or at grandma's. I'm sure that you can find them. But if you're having trouble, let me know. After you've looked to be sure you have no books that need to be returned, at the top, click on Discover. This will take you to our Destiny online catalog where you can search for library books. Search by title, author, or subject. When you find a book that you like, you can click on hold right on the front page of that book. If you're sure that that's the book that you want and you can click on hold and it will hold it for you. The other thing that you can do is if you're not sure, you click on the front cover of the book, the book will turn around so that you can read more details. Click on more details and you can read more about that library book to see if that's the book you want. So if that is a book you want, click on hold and it will now say unhold. So it says this because I know sometimes we change our minds. We'll say, oh no, that's not really the book I want. 
So if you decide this is not the best choice for you, click on it again and it will take that hold off. Then go back to your account, click on your name, and you can view your holds. So you can see here I have two different books on hold. Be sure that you have selected, if you get to select, check out two library books, be sure that you have selected two different books from two different authors or two different genre. So not two Dyer of Olympic Kid or two bone books. So you'll notice this one is a nonfiction book and a fiction book. Don't worry about the date at the bottom because I'll be checking the books out for you. So now all you have to do is wait, read an ebook, or do some homework while you're waiting. And when your books are ready for you, they will magically appear in your classroom while you are at Connections on Tuesday or Thursday. If you are learning from home, your books will need to be picked up curbside on Thursdays from 3 to 4. That means I'll have the books out front for you and your parents can just drive up and tell me your name and we will hand your library books to you. Now this is only available, curbside pickup is only available for remote learners. So teachers, if you could help those learning from home, remember they must have their holds placed by noon on Tuesdays in order to pick up in that same week on Thursday. Also, my remote learners, return your library books when you come to pick up your new library books. You can also use our after hours book drop, which I'll show you in a minute. Remember, when you're done reading your library books, you have to return them. I want them returned in good shape. You've hugged them and loved them and read them, and now you're ready to return them. So when you're done reading, Fridays is our book return day. There are book carts outside the library where you will neatly place your library book returns. On Mondays, we'll check them all in and get them all ready to be checked out to other students. So returning books is a little trickier for my friends in the annex. On Fridays, I will come to fourth and fifth grade classrooms during connections time and pick up the library books you're ready to return. Ask your teacher to help find a place by the door to put your books that need to be returned. So those in, in the building where the library is, when you're on the way to the, to the bathroom or on your way to lunch or connections, you can place your library books there as you walk by. There is also an after hours library book return. So this is right outside the gate out front where you can return your library books anytime. Just remember, this is for library books only not trash. So if you could please just return library books so I don't find anything else in there with those library books. That'll be great. This will keep those library books dry and safe until I have time to go out there and get them. Remember, remote learners, you're going to return your library books when you come for your curbside pickup on Thursdays. I have one more thing to say about reading. One more good word about reading all these books besides enjoying them and learning and growing your brain your teacher might catch you reading and then your name will go in our get caught reading bucket for your chance to win a prize off our get caught reading bookshelf remote learners you can get caught too maybe you read a book in epic or you told your teacher about a great book you read or maybe you were reading while you were waiting for class to begin your teacher can submit a get caught reading ticket with your name on it and we'll let you pick up a prize during our curbside pickup time. So what are you waiting for? Start reading!